Human beings by default are hesitant to change. But every now and then, something shows up that's so hyped up that we might actually believe that it's okay to change. I'm Raul from Simply Learn, and today we're going to talk about five industries that blockchain will disrupt. Let's start with banking. Suppose you're in San Francisco and you want to send money to your friend. Now, for this transfer to take place, you need the help of a central authority. In this case, it's the bank. Now, say you're sending them a hundred dollars. Now, out of this hundred dollars, ten dollars goes as transaction fee to the bank. The rest goes to your friend, which is ninety dollars. Now, this transaction fee at times can be expensive. The process of transferring money can also be time-consuming. The act of sending money overseas is also a lot more complicated due to the exchange rates and other hidden fees. Now, blockchain is disrupting the system by providing a peer-to-peer -peer payment system. Now, this provides high security and doesn't cost as much. This system eliminates the need of a central authority. Now, blockchain provides fast, cheap, and borderless payments across the world. You can perform transfers to any part of the world. Now, cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin eliminate the need for a third party, in this case a bank, to make transactions. Now blockchain records all the transactions in a decentralized ledger. This ledger is accessible by any of the Bitcoin users. For example, let's talk about a cryptocurrency application called Abra. This provides peer-to-peer -peer money transfers. Now this application allows users to store, transfer and receive digital money which can be stored in their mobile phones or PCs. The recipient can withdraw this cash via an Abra teller. The most important thing here is that users don't need to have a bank account to use this service. Next up, we have cybersecurity. Now imagine you're in office one day and you find out that your data has been modified. The previous evening, someone went through your data and altered it. Now cyber attacks are a huge cause of concern among the public. It can have huge repercussions to a person's life. So it's essential that we find an effective solution against people going through our data unauthorized and tampering it. That's where blockchain comes in. Blockchain with its decentralized system makes it suitable for environments where there's a lot of security required. All the information that's stored inside the Bitcoin networks are verified and encrypted using a cryptographic algorithm. Now, this ensures that there's no single point of entrance for a wide-scale attack. Now, with blockchain, it's also easy to identify malicious attacks due to the peer-to-peer -peer connections where data cannot be altered or tampered. By ensuring that there's no central authority, blockchain provides a transparent and secure way of recording transactions. This is at the same time ensuring that none of your private information is disclosed to anyone. For example, let me tell you about a company called GuardTime that secures its data using blockchain technology. Now, GuardTime uses a completely unorthodox method as opposed to a centralized system. This company uses blockchain technology. It distributes the data among the nodes of its users. Now, let's talk about supply chain management. Say you ordered for some food from online, you get the delivery for the food, you get the food delivered to you, and you find out that the food has surprisingly low quality. Now, with blockchain technology, you can trace the supply chain back to its beginning to find out where things went wrong. For example, you can find out where the farm is, where the product is grown, how the production was, whether something went wrong with the distributor, whether something went wrong with the retailer, or something went wrong at your hand. Now, in supply chain management, blockchain provides permanent transparency and validation of transaction shared by multiple supply chain partners. That means you can validate each and every step of the supply chain. All the blockchain entries are permanent and transparent. This makes it easier for the customer to view the transaction history of the product they just purchased. In a blockchain, transactions are recorded in a decentralized, distributed ledger. Each transaction is recorded into a block and anyone can verify the authenticity or status of a product being delivered. Now, it can also be used for seafood verification. Here, we can track the seafood from ocean to the market. Now take the example of the Pacific Tuna project. Now you have three blocks here, each one containing fishing details, export and import details, and purchasing details. The blockchain supply chain management provides a step-by-step -step verification to track the tuna fish. In the process, this prevents illegal fishing. Next up, we have healthcare. Say you're in a hospital and you're asking for reports for a medical test you did yesterday. The receptionist tells you to wait. And even after four hours, you still don't get your report. Apart from this annoying delay, have you realized that any person who has access to the system can corrupt the data? Apart from this annoying delay, have you realized that any person who has access to the system can corrupt the data since information is stored in the physical memory of a system? Blockchain eliminates a central authority and ensures that you have rapid access to data. Here, each block is connected to another block and the data is distributed across the nodes. This makes it difficult for a hacker to corrupt the data. Another major problem in healthcare is counterfeit medication. The main issue is that counterfeit medicines are difficult to distinguish from real medicines. The solution comes in the form of blockchain with the help of supply chain management. Here, the medicine's provenance can be traced. For example, United Healthcare has improved its privacy, security, and interoperability of medical records using blockchain. Now, 
Time for some honorable mentions. The insurance industry. With blockchain's decentralized system, insurance companies can easily identify false claims and prevent forgeries. Transportation. Utilizing blockchain enables traceability in the transportation industry where the shipment of goods can be easily tracked. Now let me tell you about cloud storage with an example. Storage is a decentralized cloud storage. By eliminating servers and utilizing blockchain, it can securely store its data in the cloud. With high speed and low cost, users can earn money by sharing their extra hard drive space on the storage network. Real Estate Deploying blockchain technology in real estate increases the speed of the conveyance process and eliminates the necessity for money exchanges. Let's talk about the government. In a traditional voting process, electoral fraud is an illegal activity that takes place almost always. Now, most citizens who want to vote must wait in a queue and cast their vote to a local authority. This can be a very time-consuming process. Why not bring this process online? Online voting systems fail due to the lack of security. Blockchain can be used to solve these issues. It can be used for counting votes and verifying voters. Using blockchain, voters can submit their votes without revealing their identity in public. Officials can count the votes with absolute accuracy, knowing that each ID has only one vote associated with it. Fake votes cannot be created as data tampering is close to impossible with blockchain. Once your vote is added to the ledger, the information can never be erased. Now, let me tell you an example of MeVote. Now, MeVote is a token-based blockchain platform which is very similar to a digital ballot box. Now, with MeVote, people are able to vote through a smartphone, so voters cast their vote. After the verification, the vote gets recorded in the blockchain, the voter identities are secured, and the results are not modified. But blockchain is also useful in some other things. For digital asset registries, with blockchain, fast and secure registration of any asset is possible. It can be used with the notary. Utilizing blockchain's technology with the notary seal can be a really fast way to prove a document's authenticity. With tax, deploying blockchain can result in quicker tax payments, lower rates of tax evasion, and lesser efforts in tax auditing. Blockchain can increase security and transparency in governmental systems. By 2020, Dubai hopes to become a 100% blockchain government by making all of its government services available on the blockchain technology. And with that, we are at the end of another video. I hope you guys found this video helpful and informative. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.